We just finished this beautiful trip in um, uh, in Yunnan, actually in the northern part of Yunnan. We traveled with this uh, with the uh, ancient Yunnan. Uh, they provide about everything, and and they they allow us to uh, visit um, many places here in uh, in Yunnan. We we visit uh, three of the biggest cities, uh, Dali, Lijiang, and uh, Shangri La. At the moment here we are in uh, we are in Lijiang. And, uh, and also a lot of little villages. And uh, the little villages we saw, uh, they are all part of um, um, the uh, tea horse uh, road, which was uh, um, a, trading, a trading ancient uh, road. They used to, um, exactly, to, to trade the tea and other, and other supplies. And it was very interesting because during this trip, we, we managed to see um, the three main uh, minorities of this area. Uh, and you can see all the differences between their, their costumes, their, um, their clothing, uh, their, their tradition. It was very, very beautiful. Uh, what to say, I personally think, I traveled a lot in, uh, in China and I personally think that Yunnan is actually the my favorite area is, is the best because for many reasons uh, the just the geographical location is uh, is perfect because you can have different climate uh, it's never too hot it's never too cold so uh, and you can have diff very very differences uh, in in um, in vegetation and everything if you go you can see the visit the south where the south is hot is very close to Myanmar so very feels like the southeast of Asia, while the north going towards Tibet, which is also a very interesting thing. The fact that you can, uh, in, especially when you go visit Shangri La, you can visit the Tibetan uh, side of Yunnan, which is um, you can see the, the second biggest uh, monastery in the in the Tibetan um, in the Tibetan culture, which is in Shangri La, and uh, and it's beautiful the fact that. You can see Tibet when without going to Tibet, so it's very close to Tibet, and uh, and you can see what is the culture over there, what is the how's the people, how are the houses, everything. So it was a very beautiful experience. Um, ancient Yunnan uh, provide about everything, as I said. We've been staying in an awesome um, boutique hotel, very cozy, beautiful. Now the one we are here now in Lijian is in the middle in the city in the old town of Lijian. It's in an ancient uh, building and it's just look gorgeous. Uh, the services are great and um, and everything. Also, uh, the, the 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 accommodation was amazing. Food also as well. You can try the different food from different areas, and uh, it's a great experience that I suggest to everyone. And and for sure, I'm looking forward to, to maybe to uh, do my best to visit the south of Yunnan as well, because they also provide uh, at the moment another trip which allow you to visit the southern part of the of the region. So Yunnan is, I think, the best area to visit in China, and uh, and also it's particular because uh, we have an idea about what China is, but. You, we actually, when we arrived to China, we figure out that China is way more different than what we expected. And in my opinion, uh, I was surprised because I had an idea about China. When, when I came to China, I found that China was way better than what I thought. And, uh, and, but China is not that easy to travel, so it's good to uh, rely on professionals that can take you around and get they know where to go helps you with the language which is extremely important and uh, nothing i suggest you to to come over and come over and have a look and it would be a beautiful experience thank you very much having visited many places in china i was looking for a place that combines both traditional chinese culture and some unique features after visiting ancient yunnan i decided that yunnan is the best choice that i could make Due to the location and historical background, Yunnan is the most diverse province in China. It is the cradle of 26 minorities, 15 of which are unique to this area. Ancient Yunnan helped me to organize the trip to explore the whole Yunnan province. 
First, we went to Dali. Dali is a place of residence of Bai people. While exploring Bai culture, we had a chance to try Bai tie dyeing handicraft. Dali is famous for its old town and three pagodas. This is a place you have to go to. After Dali, we went to Lijiang. Lijiang's old town is amazing. It is very big and you need to have at least four to five hours to explore it, but it is a place that is definitely worth going. After Dali and Lijiang, we had a chance to go to smaller ancient towns, Shaxi and Baisha. In these smaller towns, you can take rest from the hectic big city life and imagine what life was two, three hundred years ago. Apart from some cultural and historical spots, Yunnan is famous for its nature. You definitely have to go to Tiger Leaping Gorge. Tiger Leaping Gorge is one of the deepest gorges in the world with breathtaking views. Apart from Tiger Leaping Gorge, you should also go to Pudatso National Park. This national park is amazing all year round from spring to winter. So if you want to combine both historical experience and enjoy the natural scenic spots, you should definitely go to Yunnan.